since 1999. We're coming to you from T-Mobile Park here in Seattle. Tonight, a battle of two first place squads between the Minnesota Twins and the Seattle Mariners. Joined by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa. And Dan will see a Major League debut on the mound in this one. Anytime you're making your Major League debut, particularly starting a game, I'm sure there's some anxious moments going on. One of the keys for every young pitcher is to not try to be better than you were in the minor leagues. Go out. The mound is still 60 feet, 6 inches away. The big key, make sure you continue to pound the strike zone. The Twins have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Today, leading the American League in batting for the season. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Next for Minnesota. Now Matt Matt flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost Matt. went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. He had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 1. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Now the 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. 0-2. Scott aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit hard to short. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, d row of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Into the box. Andy Yerzik worked the walk his first time first up. Baseman. Andy Fourth inning of a 2-1 ball game. Lofted in the halfway, air halfway. toward right center. Rodriguez has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. So here is Ben Ruda grounded now out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, ben. Matty, but this guy's got Ruda. burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. In at the plate, Royce Lewis. One for two on his line so far in the game. Royce Lewis. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Twin strand a pair that they're unable to add to their 2 to 1 lead. Now to bat, Jay now Mack. Mack singled in his last at bat. Jay Mack. Now the first pitch. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. 
Yeah that looked like an auto take right there just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Oh, he looked like a caveman no swing in the right. club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Hey this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push hey, something on, to the opposite right field. Here. And he fouls this one off. Two runs, seven hits, and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. Back up the middle. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily Wait, on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good Up job. But any way you look at it, the first that baseman. should be scored a base Andy hit, and I'm sure it was. Yerzy. Now the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging the throw. And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. Don't know if that was a true hit and run there with two strikes or not, but he's into second base safely on the strikeout. And now in the box, Ben Rudolph. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. And the runner's breaking for third. This one's Come on, go hard, you're scoring. Go hard. The is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Twins wind up stranding one. Home half of the sixth inning coming up, deadlocked at two apiece. Striding in the is Jay the Mack. Mack. Yes, the switch hitter will bat yeah. right-handed here. Mack. Even though he's batting right-handed in this particular turn, bat, turn. this guy swings it from both sides of the plate. Numbers right pretty much the same across the board. A terrific hitter right-handed in this at bat. But if you try to switch this guy around from the left side, he can do some damage also. Rodriguez is there and he'll put it away. Hey, a nice win for them all around. And an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. Seattle came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jorge Ruiz earns his third win of the year in relief.